Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. Blake Cousins here, along with my brother, Brett. We've been, uh, you may have heard, yep, yeah, our dad has been uh, under some major health issues, and he has recently recovered from a major operation. Uh, I'm not going to get into too much details, but the prayers that have been coming in, all the great thoughts from the people from around the world, strangers have reached out to Third Phase Moon, and I got to say, things have been positive. Uh, our dad has recovered in a way that seems that he's on the right path. He's not out of the woods yet, but again, we ask you to keep our dad in our in your thoughts, guys. It really means a lot, and we appreciate it. And we also know we have a job to do here, and people have been asking, where are the UFO sightings? Where are they? And we've been collecting them under the circumstances it's a bit tricky sometimes, but we're happy that we could uh, get you some UFO videos that have just been submitted to Third Phase of Moon. So let's roll it, guys. Buckle up. Take a look at this. Something captured at 20,000 feet that seems to be out of this world or something in our assets. Watch this closely. All right. So as always, we're going to do some enhancement here and ask the big question. And as we're looking at this video right now, this is why we put them up there. I don't have an answer for you at this moment. What we put out on Third Phase of Moon is something that we're trying to figure out. And at this moment, I can't tell you exactly what this is. It seems like we have some kind of cylindrical object just hovering there. If you look at it closely, the side-by-side -side comparison, uh, this thing remains stationary above the clouds. It's not moving. Brent, what's your thoughts here? Yeah, good work on tracking this thing, Blake. I, I saw you program this and just to get the good close up of what we're looking at. We're seeing amazing encounters from commercial airliners, the people that are flying them. Um, I was looking for UFOs today while we're inner island travel to see and take care of dad. I was and I didn't see anything like this. If I did, I would film it. I can't tell you what it is, but it does resemble something not in our assets. It I don't see any wings or anything of the sort. It almost looks like a, a darker form of a Tic Tac. Again, the video doesn't last very long, but what we're seeing here is pretty remarkable. If you imagine whatever this thing is just remaining at this altitude, I'm going to have to roll out some kind of blimp. It's definitely not a drone. It might be. It could be some kind of secret military operation here or some kind of craft some form of meta propulsion that we're not aware of again we're getting a good side-by-side -side comparison here i'm not seeing any faa lights or any wing or tell on this thing uh, what's it doing there this is out of any kind of a uh, commercial uh, vehicle that i'm aware of brent what's your thoughts yeah it almost looks like the gimbal you could say if I wonder if the FAA pilots, the fighter pilots would chase this thing and track it down. What would they see? Would they get details of what was going on? Now we're taking it in a whole different level. What's going on on Mars has been the big question. We're heading there in the future or have we been there before is a big question. Things are being revealed through people keeping a good eye on atmospheric phenomena that's happening. We're seeing objects captured on the Mars Perseverance rover. It's incredible. We got good detail, but we're seeing objects that we can't explain. Yes, we do have a drone on Mars, but I could definitely rule out that this is this. You know, I'm looking at it, Brent, and could it be a speck on the lens? You know, there's a lot of sandstorms over there on the red planet, but some of these, you know, still photographs doesn't seem to be, um, a speck on the lens we got the rover capturing these anomalies that sometimes look like flying saucers and then we have other things on the on the surface that emit these strange bright luminescent lights from the ground itself is this again some maybe lens flare going on or are we looking at pareidolia or is there some kind of um activity on the red planet this one kind of caught my eye when it first came out just earlier this week of this weird bluish metallic looking craft dare i say it almost looks like uh, the will smith crash when he uh 
knocked out the alien on Area 51 and says, Welcome to Earth. It almost looks like it's crash landed. I'm not exactly sure, but I, I like some of the anomalies that come come in from NASA themselves. And it's funny that sometimes they don't give us the answers, but these these cameras are really capturing things that even NASA can't tell us even to this day what's going on here, nor do they even try. Does this look like a bird to you guys or some kind of strange um, life form? Brent, what's your thoughts? Is this possibly a life form or a craft? Yeah, the best part about it, you could see that this thing actually moved from left to right. So something's uh, traversing the sky of Mars. And now we got this great close up of what looks to be a gimbal like UFO saucer shape, just hovering above the Martian uh, surface there. Yeah, actually captured in 2014. These gimbals have been around for a while. Yeah, it's incredible of uh, just uh, information that comes in is this proof of something that's happening uh maybe interdimensional craft that are appearing on planet earth and mars look at this thing it looks like metal uh don't you agree you can see the shine and the tint now we're moving into something paranormal let's check this out let's get another close-up look at that you know sometimes i just want to ask questions and this is one of these videos that i'm asking a big question coming in from jaime mausan it's a web uh, actually a rain cam that captured this orb that kind of uh, materialized out of thin air so seems so we're looking at it again closely could this be some kind of just dust and um the camera managed to track it but when we enhance it with even more filters here it really stands out that's what i like about this could there be some kind of possible realm of life that we're not even aware of that exists around us? Are we on the cusp of learning things? Because look at this thing. Is this ball lightning or some kind of trickery of the camera? But I, I remember this video and look at how it just like shoots out the door. Let's watch that again. Watch this. The ball lightning phenomenon, it's real, but I'm saying this is probably some trickery going on. Uh, Brett, what's your thoughts here? Yeah, it's a neat correlation of videos of orbs. And uh, I'm going to look at this, and I'm, we're seeing it. The quality so low and the capability of what, what it's doing. I'm ruling that that's probably CGI, but what we're looking at here is real. Uh, some lights in the sky. We can see it hovering above the treetops. Again, could this be people get these videos all the time? Sometimes we don't see the daytime shots. Could this just be a building and the night, uh, the lights highlighting the top of it? Yeah, it's interesting. It's totally stationary. Are we uh, obscured uh, by the darkness of a building, a structure underneath it? That is a possibility. But if it's not, then what the heck is it? That's why we're putting these videos out. We want to get the answers from the public and maybe we'll get the answer to this one. I like it though. It's it's pretty insane. I just wish it lasted a little longer. It seems that there's like a pattern of, of stars uh, up on top of this dome of what maybe looks to be a saucer, but I'm not exactly sure. Is there a building there? I'm not seeing it. And I'm pretty sure the person that shot it would know otherwise could this be some kind of a heart project or a um, project blue beam holographic imagery going on here brent yeah it could be an aerial display but if it is indeed real a, a spacecraft itself i would imagine cars would be pulling up on the side of the road and there'd be a mass hysteria of this crystal clear ufo sighting i'm still leaning that this is a structure and we're just seeing the highlighted part of the, the building itself. It's a nice display. Maybe the person that filmed this was was confused. And I don't blame them for shooting this. I would definitely shoot it too. Well, hopefully we find out and get down to the mystery on this one. Because uh, it is interesting. There's this one little orb of light that appears underneath it. I'm not exactly sure. But here's the next video coming out of Russia. Кометом вот такая. 
Че, у меня увеличивается? Блядь. Ну что, приятно было с вами работать. Да, она походу так. Да? Конечно. Да, блядь, не похоже на. Что-то так высоко еще. Видишь, ромбом какая-то. Ага. А, ты есть. Ага. Конечно. Я сейчас всем скину это. Ролки, от свечения видал какие-то от нее, да? А вот этот ромбик, видишь, а -а -а. Инопланетяне, вот что-то вокруг нее что-то стремигает. So it seems like everything's on at the moment. We have Elon Musk firing up uh, the Starship, including SpaceX and the Dragon itself. They're uh, creating new boundaries in our space right now. Is this some kind of experiment going on within the regime of Putin right now? An experimental rocket that's up in the sky uh, the colors are very weird though you, we have this red at the very tail end of uh, this plume is this a, maybe a celestial event i'm more leaning towards elon musk technology brent what's your thoughts here you, you see the people on the ground they're they're pretty uh, amazed about what they're seeing yeah it looks definitely like a rocket launch it, again people get they're fascinated about these events that happen around the world and now it looks like russia has our technology uh there they go again these guys are uh, taking america technology to their own limits and it pretty much replicates what we've seen in america we actually witnessed it ourselves uh De december 30th i believe 2017 it was an amazing event and people were shocked in california because it's kind of early technology now we're being aware of what's happening and i think russia is now seeing it for the first time uh this technology and they really don't know what it is they think it's a ufo i'm thinking it's a rocket nonetheless uh, there's a rise in activity for the race to the space and what they're doing up there is ramped up it almost seems like it's the 1960s all over again uh, that great space race and now we're uh fighting up there or there might be some kind of you know possible deterrents that are out there or another chess move i think they're constantly playing up there and the technology is ramping up and you know the people on the ground over there in russia might not know exactly the real deal like Sometimes we don't even know what the real deal is going on here in the United States. Yeah, the DOD is launching up satellites, secret missions. We don't know what they're uh, carrying in these rockets. It's, it's totally uh, unprecedented of what's happening right now. And the, like you said, the space race is continuing and it is getting a I'm thinking it's going to get weaponized up there. What's your thoughts? Well, I got to say, that's what we're going to be covering in our new documentary coming out in 2022 february above top secret the technology behind disclosure here's another video just into third phase moon watch this So people are going to automatically say, is this a drone? And that would be a good question for sure. And maybe that is the answer. But uh, again, this is kind of strange. It seems that the camera person had the camera slightly oscillated. And I'm going to turn it uh, into a way where it seems to match up on a level ground here. 
And what we're seeing in this aspect from a left to right, that uh, this resembles definitely a flying saucer. Again, why the cool lights? Would a flying saucer have this kind of display? Is this some kind of prank going on in the sky and a modified drone? We heard in the beginning, not a single sound. So that's pretty amazing. Now let's take it out to more Jaime Mossan submissions to third phase of moon. We got bright red orbs in the sky and uh, people are looking at these things and it seems that they're questioning exactly what they're looking at. I think they're rolling out military flares because uh, people kind of know what those look like. We're not seeing any kind of smoke emission coming off this, any kind of FAA lights. And then they're coming in from all over the planet. This one captured in November 2021. And this is in other regions of our Earth. What's going on here? Again, no trails of smoke, a parachute indicator. These things are just hovering there. And the illuminance, the lumens of the light is extraordinary. Brent, what's your thoughts here? What's going on? Yeah, people have a good eye. They're keeping an eye on the skies and they're filming it. Uh, this one's in Pakistan. And again, this is captured by people from around the world that have their eyes peeled for something going on. What is this? A phenomenon. It's a, a reddish orb that seems to just hover and then just blink away. Is it like escaping the atmosphere in high speeds. That's right, Brent. You know, the sightings are on the rise and I got a feeling 2022, um, the videos are gonna get a little clearer and who knows, maybe the Pentagon's gonna release their high res images of the so-called Tic Tac. I think they're a little afraid of doing that because it might reveal that it's reversed engineered technology, but humans are behind it. Does that make sense to you guys? If it does, we appreciate it. And again, we appreciate everybody thinking about our dad in uh, these in these uh, past few days. Uh, we've been traveling a lot and um, we're going to be still hanging in for our dad. But we're going to be bringing you the UFO video. So don't you worry about that. Uh, we know we got a responsibility here to the world.